Do you want to build an attention grabbing back? Have you ever wondered if there's a secret to sculpting a muscular broad back using only body weight? Stay right where you are because today I'm not just sharing my personal regimen, I'm going to teach you a game changing secret that will build an epic V taper that leads up to a thick muscular back. We're not going to waste time, we're going to jump right to it. When it comes to hypertrophy, our back routine should be built around four primary exercises. Vertical pulls, so think pull ups. Horizontal pulls, think body weight rows. Your lat pullovers, think front lever progressions and back levers. But don't stress, you don't need to be able to do full front or back levers. I'm gonna show you some easier progressions you can do to train the lats and lumbar muscles effectively without needing to do any advanced progressions. First up, we've got vertical pulls. These are pull-ups. And this is where the secret comes in. The secret is are focusing on hollow body pull-ups instead of standard variation. Why hollow body? The answer there lies in the power to engage your latissimus dorsi or lats to a higher degree. The hollow body position ensures you pull vertically in contrast to the more horizontal motion of bent knee or hollow back pull-ups. And that's the key. We don't want our pull-ups to be a horizontal pull because that's what our rows are for. If we arch our back and pull more horizontally into the chest, we're essentially turning our pull-ups into rows and then they won't be vertical pulls, which is not what we want. Now there's some nuance to properly performing hollow body pull-ups, but instead of slowing this video down, I made a video that will teach you exactly how to do them right. And you can find that video by clicking this link. With our vertical pulls out of the way, next we'll jump into horizontal pulls, specifically body weight rows. The most important thing to remember when working your rows for hypertrophy is that you want to choose a row progression that allows you to work through a full range of motion. That means deep scapular retraction and ideally a nice squeeze at the top of each rep and a full stretch at the bottom. Now let's take our lat training up another level with body weight pullovers. The lats serve to pull the upper arm down and we already did this with our hollow body pullups. But sometimes the biceps can fatigue prior to the larger lats. This can mean that the lats can handle some additional work without the biceps limiting them. This is where pullovers come in. Plus, this is going to have you working straight arm strength, which you need to start building if you want to work into being able to eventually do advanced bodyweight exercises like levers and planches. I have an entire playlist to walk you through the front lever progressions, and you can find that at this link. Next, we're going to target the muscles of the low back with reverse planks. Reverse planks are a great beginner's back lever progression. And as you get stronger with these, you can always hold the weight over the middle of the body, or you can lean more to one side or the other and start working into one leg reverse planks. Now, in order to really build an impressive V taper, you need to pair your back training with a quality plan for building big shoulders, which you can get by clicking right here. 